Thank you, uh, Doctor. Long before the first ball was bowled in the T20 international series between India and England, I'm talking about the series that took place 7th to 10th July 2022 in England. There was a plan, plan in the mind of Rohit and Dravid. The plan was to play aggressive T20 cricket. And that plan was communicated to the top three or four or five batters would consume the 20 overs, including to the former captain, Virat Kohli. So in that series, he just played two matches, Kohli. And he played nine balls, a grand total of nine balls. And in those nine balls, Kohli tried to execute this plan. He tried to attempt five boundaries of those nine balls. Two of them resulted in vintage Kohli boundaries, as ESPN Cricket for put it. Siddharth Monga is the writer. A four over wide, wide mid on, a six straight down the ground. But the other three, the other three balls he tried to hit out, twice he got out. But he was honest in his attempt to execute his team management's plan on the cricket ground, though it was not his natural self. Those of us who know Kohli uh, know that he doesn't start aggressively. Long before you and I entered our mother's womb, God had a plan, a plan that you and I will live holy lives. The Bible says God shows us before the foundation of the world, before our daddies and mummies came together in sexual union, God shows us to be holy. I'm excited that God shows us to be holy. Every one of us hearing this voice of mine, even before sin entered the world, in eternity past, he chose us. And that's what we read in Ephesians chapter one, verse four. Not only that, the word of God says, thank you, God commanded us to live holy. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 3, the word of God says, it's God's will for us to be holy. And the word sexual purity is used there. Even be sanctified sexually. Be holy in every area of our life, including the area of sex. He chose us to be holy. He commanded us to be holy. But what is our response? We give him, give, we talk about the third C. The third C, okay, we talked about shows, he talked about commanded. The third C is I can't. The words of Apostle Paul is ours as well. I want to be holy, but I end up doing unholy acts like porn watching, maybe sexting, chat delete, chat delete, chat delete. I end up being a hypocrite. I just can't be holy. I'm just paraphrasing Romans 7.15 for us. Romans 7.24, the words of Apostle Paul, I'm absolutely miserable. Is there anyone who can fear, free me from this rut? Absolutely miserable. I'm absolutely miserable. Is there anyone who can free me from this rut? The words of Apostle Paul, the wise version. Romans 7.24. I can't, I can't. But this morning, I'm here to present a good news for everyone. To in response to I can't, God says, you can. Because in the same chapter in Romans 7, Paul says, I'm thankful to God for the freedom, freedom from sin, freedom from even sexual sin, freedom over stubborn habits. I'm thankful to God for the freedom that comes through Jesus Christ. So it's possible. In fact, uh, though many of us think that I, we are 
taken over by lust and we can't stop watching porn. We can't stop behaving in a, that particular way that leads us into several sexual sins. But the fact of the matter is, God forbid a terrorist walks into this room and, and let's say my wife, my daughter, my son, and he catches hold of one of them and tells me, if you watch porn on that computer screen, let's, if you click on that website and watch porn on the, on the, on the, on the, on the web, on the, on the screen, I'm going to slit your daughter's throat. You think I'll click that screen? No. I would not do that because I really believe if I clicked on porn, that terrorist will slit my daughter's throat. Young people, we are believing the lie, buying the lie that we can't be sexually holy. And I'm going to take you in my break, breakout session through a chart, through a path map, through a compass from God's word, where God's word shows us how it's possible to be sexually holy. Maybe not perfect on this side of eternity, but be on a pursuit of sexual holiness where we can have victory over stubborn habits. And that's what I'm going to show you. So I invite you to join me in my workshop. In fact, I will repeat what I shared today and tomorrow. So you might want to uh, hear my good friend Charles. We were in Idaho School uh, in the same time in the late 80s and the early 90s. And there are other wonderful workshops as well. So I will repeat what I shared today, uh, tomorrow as well. So you're most welcome to join that. I've titled my break, breakout session, Triumphing Over Tech Temptations, Why Tech Temptations. I have with me the latest copy of uh, the Outlook magazine. It's uh, so the week magazine, October 2nd, 20, 2012, 2022, sorry. October 2, 2022, it says, in a survey which analyzed content rating, Netflix's top charting, uh, top 10 charts across five countries, including India, it was found that the average share of R-rated content, nudity featuring content, sex scenes featuring content, that was 54%. Top 10 Netflix shows, 54% of them are all R-rated. In, in a survey across five nations. So uh, we know what we are talking about. You know what I'm talking about when I talk about tech temptations. And I want to show you from God's word. I want to take you to the chart of God's word, the compass of God's word that we can actually overcome uh, all these temptations. We can triumph over these tech temptations. God bless you. And uh, my book will be available uh, as you walk out uh, called Straight Talk, which throws more light about it. And there are some uh, free magazines and tracks which are take takeaways as well for, for the book. And for another book called Daniel and Dell, there's a small price to pay. Thank you. God bless you.